Come ride the little train that is rolling down the tracks to the junction. Forget about the cares, it is time to relax at the junction. Lots of cares, you bet. Need more when you get to the junction. There's a little hotel called the Shady Rest at the junction. It is run by Joe, come and be his guest at the junction. Here's our lady MD, she's as pretty as can be at the junction. Ready, call junction. see me, you know. Well, no, but... As a matter of fact, he's not coming to see you three either. He's strictly Janet's date, right? Yeah. Well, so, why are you getting so excited? Uh, well, we're just thrilled that somebody's getting some action around here. <laughs> Hi, Joe. Sam, give you right, Daryl? Uh, I was on one of his deliveries. And we got a mystery we're trying to unravel. Oh? Janet's doc has got some guy on the string. You know, sir. Yeah, we think we know who it is. Who? Well, that's one of six guys. It's probably Bert down at the creamery. I'm in favor of Brad Crundwell, the vet. And he's got a wife and six kids. <laughs> but you know, they've both got a medical background and all that. Well, I'll say this. You're on the right track. I am? Mm hmm Oh, you mean somebody else with a medical background? But, of course, the drug is true Wilhelm. That's it, yep. Say, wait till I tell Sam what I've come up with. You know, I knew I'd get it, but just put the old bean to work. <laughs> You don't think so? No. Well, who then? How about Dr. Peter Marlowe? Who's he? A uh, fellow that Janet went to medical school with. He's young, single, well off. He's a specialist in internal medicine. She once worked with him. Likes him a lot. Hasn't seen him in about five years, and well, he's coming here to visit today. Yeah, well, he could be the guy. <laughs> hey, where'd you learn all this? We asked Janet, and she told us. Hey, I 
see the sore hand hasn't spoiled your reach. <laughs> so what you see, who looks like? Well, we'll know pretty soon. There's a cannonball now. <laughs> Inside there, behind the uh, curtains. Yeah. That's uh, Uncle Joe. Uh huh. You uh, kind of get the feeling you're getting the once over. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Come on. Okay, you guys. Ole ole, Olson free. <laughs> you want to take her? Hawaii. I think we're going to have to face up to one thing. There's nothing much we can do. And I think we ought to ask ourselves, why is she leaving? That's pretty obvious. Take a good job. And 
interview with Dr. Marlowe, a man she apparently cares for very much. And what else? Well, with those two reasons, you don't need anything else. <laughs> well, what if we broke up Janet and this Dr. Marlowe? How would we do that? Betty Jo here could come between them. I know, it would be one of those love triangles. Bobby Joe, I'm married. Oh, that's what's his name. <laughs> How about you, Billy Joe? No, thanks. How about you? Hey, I'm glad you asked. I might just do that. <laughs> oh, come on now. You can't be serious. I know a surefire way of breaking up any couple. I got it out of this novel I've been reading. Well, please tell me. I want to be on guard. All a girl has to say to a man is two words. I understand. Oh, the misunderstood male bit. It really works. Karen. That's the girl in the novel. She's already won herself eight men. And I'm only on the fifth chapter. <laughs> and all she says is, I understand. That's all. Oh. Get the cannonball. Peter, uh, Dr. Marlowe, will be coming in from Pixley. He wants to make a telephone call. Bobby Joe, you're not really serious about this. Well, somebody has to do something. Be sensible. You won't have a chance. You'll only make a jerk of yourself. I understand. <laughs> oh, that's right. That only works on men. <laughs> Where are you hurrying off to? The cannonball just came in. Oh, good. Then you can meet Dr. Marlowe for me. You don't mind? No, I have some work I have to finish up in the office. Don't worry, Janet. In the years to come, you'll discover it was all for the best. <laughs> very thoughtful. How was your trip to Pixley? Oh, I enjoyed it immensely. After I made my phone call, I, uh, I walked around the town and saw the sights, visited with some of the townspeople. I understand. And then I, uh... <laughs> yes, well, and then after I, uh, after I had my walk, I went into Kramer's ice cream parlor and had, had a, a crushed, fresh raspberry sundae. It was gorgeous. <laughs> I understand. Coming home. Would you care to sit down? Well, I, I, I would want to keep them uh, waiting dinner. Oh, well, they'll let us know. They ring the bell. Oh, okay. Oh, well, let's see, where were we? Oh, you were telling me about your trip to Pixie. Oh, yes, yes. Well, on the way back, I rode the cab with Engineer Smoot. All in all, it was a very pleasant trip. I understand. You know something? What? You are a very understanding young lady. <laughs> Thank you. May I ask you something? Yes, you may. Yeah. Well, I'm, uh, I'm having a problem with Janet. I understand. <laughs> Would you do me a favor? Well, of course. Would you help me talk her into taking the new job? Oh. All of a sudden, you don't understand? <laughs> well. You see, this is the reason for my visit here. And if I can get some help, you understand. I understand. <laughs> to help him talk her into going. <laughs> Great. Well, Steve and I will just have to pull our race out of the hole. It doesn't work, nothing will. <laughs> oh, come in. Hi, it's the entire Elliot family. I hope we're not interrupting. No, not at all. Sit down. Well, uh, Kathy Jo just wanted to come down and say goodbye. Oh, that was uh, her idea? Well, it's amazing how she can communicate. Well, after all, you are the only doctor she's ever known. She's been my star patient, haven't you, sweetheart? Hey. You just hope this isn't going to affect her. Affect her? Changing doctors. Hey, well, it could be a traumatic experience for her. Having a new doctor? Well, that is, if we can get a new doctor. We doubt if there are too many doctors around who want to practice in the valley. Are you trying to tell me something? Tell you what? Well, I have a feeling that you're working through Kathy Joe to tell me that you don't want me to leave. Is that what it sounds like? That's what it sounds like. <sighs> that's what it is. Well, don't you think that's a little unfair, using my favorite client against me? Yes. Well, I have to give you A for honesty. 
Uh, you mentioned something about the difficulty in getting a new doctor to come to the valley. That could happen, you know. And you really don't think that I'd leave without seeing that you had someone to look out for your medical needs, do you? No, oh, of course not, but it could be difficult to find someone. Well, I'm working on that right now. It's tough enough leaving, but when you bring this one in... We're sorry, Janet. We shouldn't have pulled such a mean trick. Yeah, it's all your fault. I want to come down and say goodbye. <laughs> I may spoil the image of a doctor, but... I have to confess to you that when it comes to goodbyes, I'm the biggest baby of them all. Okay, Doc. We apologize for this, and we're yeah. going to make it up to you. Make it up to me? Well, we know what you're going through, so we'll make your goodbye as easy as possible. Won't we, honey? Honey? Sure, we will. <laughs> No, not right away. You like it here, don't you? Mm -hmm. Very much. How about what I'm offering? Well, it's very inviting. And me? You're very dear. Does that mean yes? Janet, isn't it what we both dreamed of? Remember at school how we said that the thing we wanted most was to go to some South Sea island and practice? Well, this isn't quite the same thing. We were going to be missionaries and heal the natives who were poor and helpless. Well, this is the same, only better. The natives are rich and want to share the wealth. <laughs> Asleep? All your animals are asleep. Look, teddy bear's asleep. And Penelope's asleep. Aren't you asleep, Penelope? See? See? I only know one other thing to do. Red and yellow and pink and green, purple and orange and Can sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow, sing a Janet, 
I guess you know we've sort of been trying to keep you here, right? Well, uh, we've decided to... We've decided... <laughs> we've decided we don't want you. <laughs> Bobby Joe, I knew it wouldn't come out right. <laughs> what we mean is... We won't stand in your way if you want to desert us. <laughs> oh, for crying out loud. This is the way it is, Janet. We like you here. If you like us, fine. But if you don't, what I mean is if you want to live on some gorgeous, exotic place with a handsome guy like Pete, be ecstatically in love, make a bundle of money. Hey, do you need a helper? <laughs> Uncle Joe. Well, well, what I mean is what, what, what we want for you to be happy. If he's the right guy, we're all behind you. What do you say? Can you understand? I think I just lost. Hey, I thought you said there were songs and stuff like that here. Oh, there are. There are. In fact, we have a song just for you, Janet. How about we dance? Yeah. Sure do. Stay tuned for Green Acres, next on Mick at Night's TV Land.